since we kind of couldn't do that one at that time. What do we got here? Coronation ceremony from Bernadette. My father sent this letter from the Sun Palace. Even though the whole thing was a boring farce, just seeing his highness sister made it worth the trip here. Such elegance, majesty, and beauty at such a young age. I don't doubt she'll be a great queen, just like her mother. <laughs> Naturally. Burn, you have to do everything you can to help the prince. <laughs> Excuse me. So she'll just be a true queen someday, soon, not just a puppet. Not bad for my father, I guess, although most of it goes without saying. A third attempt from Josephine. Your Highness didn't even try on that last costume I thought up. How insulting. What now? But this is one of my best work yet. One, 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 of, one of my best works yet, it should be. Your Highness won't be a fashion fiasco after wearing this. Ready? Ta-da! There's a drawing here that looks just like a creeper. Oh boy. Zerase from Nakia. Wow, sh she's got a great complexion. Her clothes are all so black. I guess it really makes her skin look whiter. I'm thinking of inviting her to the bath. What could that be about? But before we, you know, do anything else, well, we can appraise those paintings and we're going to turn in those books that I completely forgot to do for some unknown reason. But let's appraise these paintings real quick. The Sacred Games. A painting of a gladiator in combat. Are they all the sacred games? It would appear so. How many paintings of, 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 of the sacred games are there? How much can you sell them for? 10,000? Oh, nice! 10,000! Like, we don't have enough money already. We got some cash. Na, na, na. Do, do we want to... Yeah, I, I think the only place you can actually place paintings are in your room. It, it, is that what this is? It kind of looks like it. Uh, freaking Leon, get out of my way! Hey. Okay, I'm trying to... It's not letting me. It's not letting me interact with this for some reason. There we go. Is, it, is that what that is? Yeah, it is. Okay. Then we can just sell that one. Get another 10,000. We don't have any. We need some statues. That's what we need. But we need to go put these books in the library and we go ahead and sell off that other painting. Man, I can't believe they're like 10,000 pots each. That's pretty sweet. That's a way to get some cash and clear some inventory space. Yeah, Alright. We want to go to the library. Where is the library? There it is. Okay. Give you these books. Like, how many books do we got? Books one, two, five, seven, eight. That's cool. Ah, this tome you have fetched for me is precisely what I desired. Book one, book two, book five. We, we, we skipped three and four. And, and six. What's up with that? The story of creation, which is, of course, in, in every Sukoda game, the story of creation. In the beginning, all that existed was darkness. For a long, long time, darkness lived in solitude, growing ever so lonely. Out of sorrow and despair, darkness shed a tear. From the tear were born two brothers, Sword and Shield. Sword claimed it could cut through all that exists. Shield claimed itself impenetrable. Thus the conflict was born. 
a truly vicious conflict, lasting seven days and seven nights. In the end, sword breached shield, and shield shattered sword. Pieces of sword rained down to make the sky. Pieces of shield rained down to make the ground. Stars were created from the sparks of that battle. The 27 gems adorning sword and shield transformed into the 27 true runes, and thus began the world as we know it. Nice. The sun rune and the night rune. Long, long ago, the sun rune and the night rune were born into the world. Their existences intertwined. They had a strong bond between them as one controlled light, while the other reigned over darkness. Before long, however, the Night Rune became annoyed by the dazzling brilliance of the Sun Rune. Where is the Night Rune? The Night Rune could stand it no longer, turning itself into a sword. The Night Rune severed the bond between them and went off on its own. From the fragments of the bond left behind, the Dawn Rune and the Twilight Rune were born. Ooh. Ever since the Sun Rune lost its other half, legend has it that these two new runes have remained by its side, acting as guardians. Interesting. Royal Family Succession Conflict. This tragedy started under the reign of Queen Queen Al Hazida in the late 210s of the new capital calendar. Princess Falzram, second in line to the throne, began maneuvering to win over the majority of the Senate, wanting her sister, Princess Sharwar, to give up her right of succession and take it for herself. Rumor has it that the Barros family was the real force behind all this scheming, as they had married one of their members to Princess Falzram. Because both Queen Alzreda and Princess Shawar's husbands were from the Godwin family, the Barros family became terrified of the possibility of losing their influence in the Senate and royal family. Thus they would use Princess Falzram in an attempt to seize the right of succession. It is unclear as to whether all, or even some, of these rumors surrounding the Barros family are true. Regardless of the Barros family's ambitions, however, it does appear that Princess Falzram herself really did have designs on the throne. The situation quickly grew antagonistic between the Godwins and Barros families, each of whom supported one of the two princesses, and even the aristocracy that supported the two families got mixed up in the hostilities. Queen Olazida, once known for her brilliance and decisiveness, was getting old and she no longer had the strength to resolve the situation. Armed force was never officially used, but a cold war raged between the two factions, one that used every conceivable form of subterfuge. And what could be considered the culmination of this secret strife was the sacred games of Princess Aristot. Even though Princess Shawar's daughter Haswar was older than Aristot, and therefore had a higher priority of succession. Princess Falzram and Lord Barrows tenaciously persuaded Queen Olazeta into letting them hold the sacred games for their oldest child Arishtat before Haswar's sacred games. This was of course a strategy of Princess Falzram's to lend credibility to the idea that she herself was the predominant successor. But amazingly, the one who won Princess Aristot's hand in marriage at the Sacred Games was a barbaric swordsman from a foreign land. Huh, I wonder who that is. If either the Baros or the Godwin family had won, the possibility of a rise to arms had been expected. This outcome then, ironically, led to a cooling down of the antagonism between the two factions. Go Farad. But that peace only lasted until 226, when Queen Olazita passed away. With the prospect of the actual throne so close at hand, antagonism was rekindled even before the mourning period for the queen was over. And that antagonism turned instantaneously into a bloody struggle. And throughout this struggle, Nethergate's nefarious influence was the cause of most of the bloodshed. Of course it was. Nethergate is usually under the direct control of the queen, but the throne was vacant during this time. And so Nethergate played both sides, executing assassinations for both Princess Shawar's and Princess Falzram's factions. Nethergate's ultimate goal was to cling to power no matter which side acceded to the throne. In the end, though, their actions brought unprecedented bloodshed to the Sun Palace. This war of succession saw countless victims, as many from both the Godwin and Baros factions were slain. In the end, even the husbands of the two princesses themselves were assassinated. Not wanting to see any more bloodshed, 
Princess Shawar, not having a strong personality by nature, lost the will to fight and gave up the throne to her younger sister. But Princess Falsram had become suspicious of anything and everything. She thought that even this noble gesture of Princess Shawar might be a trick. Thus, she ordered Nethergate to assassinate her, or <laughs> her older sister. After acceding to the throne at last, Queen Falsram died of illness only two short years later. After all the bloodshed that had occurred, this ending was hardly dramatic. These years of internal conflict and intrigue have left a brutal scar on the Queendom of Felena. The scar will not easily, nor quickly, heal. Especially considering it's still there, really. But the princesses Arashtat, Sialides, and Haswar are determined to never repeat their mother's mistakes. Many feel that this will certainly be the Queendom's salvation. Maybe. The Art of One... The Art of One-on-One -on -one Duels If your opponent guards, the only way to wound him is with an attack. You won't produce dramatic results with just one attack, but a steady barrage should eventually lead you to victory. When your opponent attacks, he leaves himself open. This is the perfect opportunity to hit him with your special move. Conversely, if your opponent goes for a special move, it's vital that you stay calm and take up a defensive guard stance. You can fend off your opponent's move and even make a searing counterattack. Even more important is the ability to instantly perceive what your opponent is going to do and react quickly. You can't win without being decisive. Sometimes both you and your opponent will attack at the same time and wind up in a deadlock. The only thing that will give you the upper hand in situations like these is strength. Be aggressive. And finally, one more thing. If your opponent is about to go down, he might hit you with a last-ditch counterattack. You have to be ready to decide what to do in an instant. And heaven help you if you make a mistake. <laughs> That's all. May victory be yours. Good stuff. War. All about military units. Infantry advances on foot, defending against arrows with shields and heavy armor. However, this unit lacks mobility and is vulnerable to cavalry. With their great mobility, cavalry can overrun infantry, but their thin armor leaves them vulnerable to archer attacks. Archers are formidable against the light, lightly armored cavalry. However, their attacks are ineffective against infantry units, which are excellent at defending arrow attacks. Combat ships transport a large number of infantry ready to transfer to enemy ships for hand-to-hand -hand combat. However, because the soldiers on deck are defenseless, combat ships are vulnerable to archer attack. Ships specializing, specialized in ramming attacks on other ships are called rams. With their thick armor, Archer attacks do little damage, but their small crews make rams vulnerable to combat ships coming up alongside them. Archer ships post a large number of archers on deck and specialize in long-range attacks. They have the advantage over combat ships, but are rather defenseless against rams. Some archer units, or archer ships, have the word rune attached to their unit names. These units can perform powerful magic attacks, so they should be utilized whenever possible. However, keep in mind that they have a limited amount of magic attacks. The strengths and weaknesses of a military unit depend greatly on the ability of its commander. Knowing how to form a great unit requires a lot of trial and error. Yep, sure does. Okay. Alright. So we could also cash in our window. Our new window that we got. There you go. Oh, you brought a new window set. Let me have a little look. Window set six! Let's see what this is all about. Now we're just missing five. And nine, it, if there is a nine. Ooh. I kind of like the looks of this one. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. I kind of like the, 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 the look of this one. Is a borrowing company back? They sure are. Check out their office. How you doing? I think I'm tired. Okay. I wanted Sagitti to forget too. I figured if she forgot, she'd finally be able to cry and let out her anger. How could I have been so stupid? I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh. Your Highness, please forgive me for hiding the truth about myself. I had hoped at least Sagiri and Shugude would forget about the past. 
It seems now I was hoping in vain. I guess I'm going to have to settle things once and for all. I guess so. I can't say I don't feel sorry for the people of Durat were deceived, but... Well, it is true that Lokar was set aflame. Yeah. Thank you, Your Highness. This is a magnificent room. Don't worry. My mice are well trained. I'll make sure they don't dirty the room. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get back to... What were we investigating? Yeah, Jean, okay. Eh, you want to know about Jean? Well, hmm. You know, there are some doors you're really better off not opening. <laughs> okay. That's great. Background three. Why not? Okay. Um, what else was I gonna do? Uh, there was something else I was gonna do, I think. Uh... I don't remember what it was. What was I gonna do? Like, I was gonna look at something, or... I just don't remember what it was. I don't know. I guess we could check how our garden's doing now. Oh, right, the newspaper. That's what I was gonna check. Okay. Let's check the newspaper. I'm sure we got some new stuff. Where, where, where were we? I'm not sure. I think we already checked that one, yeah. I think we already checked that one. Issue 8. Publication to be suspended. Due to circumstances beyond our control, publication of the Dawn Times has been temporarily suspended. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause to our loyal readers. We will, however, return before long. We plan to resume publication in time to cover the next big military operation. Thank you for your patience, loyal readers. Okay. So, did we read... We read six, didn't we? Yeah. Did we read seven? I think we did. Issue nine. Prince proves military superiority. Pushing his forces into Durat, a strategic position for the Godwin faction, the prince succeeded in capturing the city. In the middle of the battle, the people of Durat threw open the castle gates, which contributed greatly to the Godwin army's defeat. It really did. The news of the Queen's Knights setting fire to Lelkar has spread throughout the Queendom, so, wanting to avoid a similar fate, the people of Durat were probably trying to evacuate as quickly as possible. With the capture of Durat, His Royal Highness is now in control of more than two-thirds of Felena. The Loyalist army holds an overwhelming advantage over the Godwin faction. Twilight Rune used. The siege on Durat ended in triumph for the Prince, but the Dawn Times has learned that the Godwin faction, in its desperation for victory, brought the Sacred Twilight Rune into battle. The Queen's Knight, Alenia... Alenia! held the rune, but was unable to handle its power, nearly causing the rune to go berserk. The prince's forces have strongly condemned this action. Not being Felain and royalty, it is blasphemous for the Godwin faction to bring the Twilight Rune, a sacred symbol of the royal house of Felena, onto the battlefield. Serial. Alenia. <laughs> Alenia! Portraits of the enemy. This time, Portraits of the Enemy takes a look at the traitorous Queen's Knight Alenia, who recently carried the Twilight Rune into battle during the Siege of Durat. Her father, also a Queen's Knight, trained her with a blade. When he fell in battle during the Armus invasion, Alenia said that he died because he was weak. Thus, she hates for anyone to imply that she is following in her father's footsteps or trying to avenge his death. For some time, she has made no secret of her strong affinity for the Godwin faction, or rather, the Godwin family itself. This affinity is thought to be the reason for her betrayal, unlike Zahak and his unshakable convictions. Indeed, Alenia seems to often act based on emotion rather than logic. Hmm, well... Alright. So, let's, uh... Let's check the garden, shall we? Before we move on, because like I said, we got a lot of recruiting to do. I guess we can go ahead and form a party. No matter what happens, she'll be here for us. 
You believe that? Alright. Put in the usual suspects. Ba 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 ba. Kyle! You know what I'm talking about? Lorelei. And we're actually gonna need a. What's his face? What is his face? I don't remember his name. What the hell's his name? I don't recall. Cornelia, that's it, because there is a Dore Me Elf. Outside of Durat, I do believe. So. And you do actually have to have them in your battle party, so, you know. Egbert. We have a lot of money. I'm just saying. I'm always just saying. Motion. Mirad. I guess we could upgrade Cornelio's weapon. We don't really need to, but we could. And we have a buttload of money, so... I guess we could do that. Weapons in level 5. Might as well. Make him less pathetic. Forte becomes Fortissimo! That's exciting. <laughs> oh boy. Bum, bum. Ba, ba, ba. Fortissimo! There you go. <laughs> really unnecessary, but might as well. 240. His attacks is still less than Jean's. He's, she's also only in level 24, so. Uh, Let's go check out the garden. See if there's anything going on with that. See if things are growing or whatever. Think we gotta go down here. And we go this way. To our garden. Ooh, look at this. Nice. We got a nice garden going. There's still more seeds we need to find. Hey, Prince, how do you like it here? I know it's awfully small, but it's a fine farm nonetheless, right? Yeah. Prince, look, look. It's almost harvest time. We're harvesting. Now Retza will be able to cook up something absolutely marvelous. That's nice. Okay. So we're gonna head to Durat. Hopefully we'll, we'll, Wilhelm and Mueller... Because that's where Wilhelm and Mueller will join. I mean, that's where they are. And I think that's the last... The very last time... You can recruit them there, so... So... We better take Vicky just... Just to be safe. Because if you don't get them to join there, then... Then you... You, 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 you've lost them forever, I do believe. So, yeah. We'll bring Vicky just to be safe, because that r r r raises the chances of them joining you. Also, if you didn't recruit Mosin, I think you can recruit him at, at Durat. But we already got him, so it doesn't really matter. 
Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there it is, the Durat Fortress. I was gonna say, where the hell is it? Okay.